In this video, I'm inviting you to solve a somewhat hard SAT problem that involves proportions and cross multiplication. They're not going to tell you that they need you to cross multiply. They're going to present you with a problem and you need to remember to cross multiply. There you go. Try to solve it by yourselves and then come back to me and we will solve it together. All right. Well, uh, I'm sure most of you have arrived in an answer, uh, but Let's solve it together. Now, this minus can give you a little bit of a hard time. A lot of my students try to bring it to the left-hand side. They change the minus into plus. They start coming up with a common denominator, which is yielding them a quadratic equation, exposing them to so many problems. Why do that? Think about your atom. Think about your cross multiplication. But with this minus, you just need to decide whether you want to attribute it to the top or to the bottom. This minus is only attributed to the numerator or the denominator. In my case, I'm just going to pretend this, there's no minus here, and the minus is just going to be here. Now, I'm cross multiplying, cross multiplying, turning this into a multiplication. I'm going to have negative 1 times 8 minus, oh, x minus 8 is equal to 1 times x minus 9. Let's go ahead and distribute. We're going to have negative x plus 8 is equal to x minus 9. Then again, we do the same thing. We bring all the x's to the one side, all the digits to the other side. So we're going to have 2x, because I just brought this over to the other side. And what I like to say is that the equal sign is like the river of misery. And when we cross the river of misery, we have to change our sign. So if you were positive on one side, if you are being thrown to the other side of the river of misery, you change your sign. So if you're negative on the left, if you now want to be on the right, now you're positive. Now, for here, we need to throw negative 9 to the other side of the river of misery, which means 9 will become positive. 8 plus 9, last time I checked, was 17. x is equal to 17 over 2. And this is a completely appropriate answer for you to grade in. This is a grade in. It's a non-calculator section. Uh, 17 is a prime number, so we can't really uh, simplify any further. That's a great answer. I hope you um, enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.